Hey guys. Um, I was going through my older videos that were recorded with my crappy um, SX45 camcorder and I was just looking for any ones that I could have remade and uh, I found this uh, my D600 review my last one only has like a thousand views so it doesn't really matter so I'm gonna remake it and it's going to be a lot better so yeah it's going to be in much better video quality so, yeah, without further ado, uh, because the new people who are watching this video won't know anything about that, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. This is going to be a review of my Dell Attitude D600. I purchased this, bleh, I purchased this thing on eBay in April 2012 for about 60 bucks, so, you know, pretty good price for what it is. Uh, it's really just a basic computer these days, though. It's not really useful for anything decent. Um, it's, it's basically... You can still browse the internet and listen to music and pictures and whatever, but you're not going to be able to, you know, do a whole lot of HD video. You can probably play DVDs because that's not very demanding. Uh, but gaming is totally out of the question. So I just wanted to get that out, out, like, in the beginning of the video because that was, like, the top... That is always the top the top question on any of my laptop reviews. Can this thing game? What can it do? What do you, what do you use this for? You know, how good is it? So there you go. Uh, let me go ahead and turn down my fan, actually. Sorry, it's just hot here in California, so I just figured I don't want to turn that fan off because it's kind of loud. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Um, I'm kind of standing up for this review because, it's, you know, it's kind of, well, I guess, here, hold on. I'm figuring out my setup right now, sorry, because my tripod is freaking huge. Okay, so... So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the laptop, obviously. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and raise the camera up a little bit for this, uh, just because it's a little better. Uh, so here we have the laptop. The entire thing is made of a combination of plastic and magnesium. This is metal. As you can see here, there's a, uh, whoops, there's a, uh, you know, uh, part where the paint is, like, off, so you can see that this entire assembly, this entire back LCD cover is indeed metal, uh, like most latitudes, which is the reason why they're more expensive. Um, you can disregard this, that's just there because, you know, because it is. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to explain it because you, probably, you guys probably don't care. Dell logo right here, of course, on the top, and uh, um, here, I'm not going to take the camera off the tripod, I'll just bring the computer up. Sorry, I just bumped the camera and screwed it all up. Uh, but yeah, right, well, I guess that'll be part of the interior view. So let's just go around the thing. Uh, for this, actually, I'm going to move the camera in because the lighting is absolutely terrible with the position that it's in right now. So, um, well, that's all I can do. So here we have two speakers, and then we have the latch for the display, as you can see there. And uh, yeah, that's it for the front. Going around to the right side, we have a Kensington lock all the way on the front corner over here. And then we have our optical drive, which it's basically just like the D-Bay. So you can put optical drives, floppy drives, second batteries, or second hard drives in here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I just have a basic DVD-ROM in there right now. Um, going around the back, here's where most of the action is. Uh, we have two USB ports in S-Video. A modem, which absolutely nobody uses anymore. Uh, Ethernet, a LPT printer port, VGA serial, and your uh, power, which is you know right there. And then we have the uh, vent for the heatsink fan assembly. So, yeah. Um, going around here, um, this kind of pops out right here. It's just a uh, uh, you know the bottom vent, but it's kind of leaks over here. Uh, here we have a PCM CIA card slot. I don't know how good the lighting is on that one. My camera's kind of, you know, in a bad spot for lighting. Uh, an infrared port down there, uh, microphone, headphone port, and then the hard drive caddy is also right here. So that's where the hard drive is. This one has a 40 gigabyte IDE hard drive. And then we have a yet another uh, Kensington lock right there. So that is a tour of the exterior and the ports on the laptop. So. There you go. Um, the bottom's kind of confidential, like it has just, you know, my name and stuff on it, so uh, I'm not going to show too much of that. Um, and it also has the Windows uh, COA, so I'm not going to show the bottom. Well, 
you know what, I guess I can. So I'm just gonna cover this stuff. Um, so we have our, uh, ah, shit. Um, <laughs> we have our memory access right here, our wireless card, and the battery, obviously. So the battery in this one is just a uh, six cell, I believe, 53 watt hour. It's completely dead, pretty much. It lasts about, oh, an hour, maybe. So it's not great. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I really need to buy batteries for my computers. Oh, crap. Well, I apologize for that. My stupid tripod decided to just, you know, mess itself up. So, anyway, I'm going to open up the computer. I'm actually going to plug it in just because, like I said, the battery is totally, you know, obliterated pretty much. It'll work, like I said, for about an hour, but I'm just going to plug it in. So, here we actually have the laptop uh, right here. There you go. Uh, I wonder if I turn the light off just so we don't get any glare. So that's what it looks like without glare. <laughs> I'm going to actually keep it off because it's a little better. Uh, so going around the computer here, we see we have the 14.1 inch uh, SXGA Plus screen, I think. No, maybe not Plus. It's 1400 by 1050 resolution. Uh, you know, oh crap, what the... F Camera. Seriously. Um, anyway, yeah, 14.1 inches, 1400 by 1050 resolution. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. I do not know why it's not focusing. Maybe because of that, yeah, it's because of that LED light over there. Okay, anyway, um, I'm going to actually take the camera off the tripod for this because the zoom on this camera is so slow. So, um, right here we have the Dell logo. Uh, we have the power button, keyboard key indicators, and then uh, uh, sound uh, controls down, up, and mute. And then over here we have the uh, Latitude D600 designation. And then over here we have indicators, uh, four of them being power, hard drive, battery, and the uh, Bluetooth. So here we have our, uh, I think, full-sized keyboard. And then it also, this, also, this is the D600, so it also includes a pointing stick and two buttons up here. Uh, here we have our touchpad, obviously, and then we have the uh, stickers, like Windows XP and the Intel Centrino sticker. So. That's a tour of the interior of the laptop. Let's go ahead and put the camera back on the tripod there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and back up, and then we shall uh, go ahead and uh, boot the thing up. Why don't we? So, uh, while it's booting up, I'll give you some of the specs. Let's go ahead and enter the BIOS real quick, though, uh, just to show you that. So here's the BIOS. Here's what it looks like. It's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> just a basic BIOS where you can modify your boot order and all that good stuff. So if we take a look in here, I'm actually going to zoom for this, I guess. Uh, we have a 1.8 gigahertz uh, Intel Pentium M with two megabytes of cache. That is a ongoing joke with my regular viewers. Two megabytes of cache! Holy crap! Uh, we have one gigabyte of RAM at 266 megahertz, as you can see there. We have a 32 megabyte ATI Radeon 9000 graphics card, so not very good. Uh, and then, oh yeah, there we go. 14 inch SXGA plus screen. So, there you go. And a 40 gigabyte hard drive. So, that is about all you need to know. So, those are the specs. Oh, and as you can see, the um, green, the power light lights up green. I think that's kind of cool. I had a D500 for the longest time, as you would know. Uh, if you were a regular watcher of my videos, uh, don't mind that scan line right there. That's just from the sun, I think. Um, I had a D500 for the longest time, if you've been watching my videos for the past couple of years. I absolutely love that computer, so that was actually the reason I purchased this computer, uh, to be honest. So, you know, it's a good replacement. It's a lot better uh, in regarding to uh, specs. So let me go ahead and put my arm in front of the camera uh, while I log in here. Sorry about that. So we have uh, Windows XP Pro Service Pack 3 on here, just for, you know, nostalgia or whatever. It'll run Windows 7 just fine, which, you know, you probably don't want to do that, but it does run Windows 7, uh, you know, pretty well. So I just figured I'd put XP on it just to give it that, you know, nostalgic feel. I don't know. It is for me. I grew up on these things, so, yeah. So... Uh, once again, let's go ahead and take a look at the system properties just because I feel like doing it again. You guys already know the specs. I showed you in the BIOS, but who cares, right? 
So, as you can see, very high resolution screen. I have to zoom in quite a bit for this one. And it's not going to focus, of course. That's what I figured. Whatever. But there's the system properties. No, this is not an original copy of Windows XP. It's just, um, I put the, uh, the OEM... God damn it, I keep messing with the tripod. Uh, I put the OEM information in there, so... Yeah, so, uh, there's, like I said, this is just a computer for basic, uh, stuff, like... You know, we got Chrome over here, we got Microsoft Word over there. Uh, I guess I can zoom into the screen for this one so you guys can see what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, but, yeah, I'll go ahead and launch Chrome as an example. Uh, it's not the fastest computer in the world. Uh, so it's, like I said, for the third time, I think now, it's only good for basic things. But it's still, it's still a good, like, child's computer or, you know... Uh, an elderly person they would totally be fine with this thing so unless your grandma has high expectations which I don't know any of that do but let's go ahead and just search Google for Dell 304 so that's what comes up <laughs> anyway yeah that's Google Chrome uh, it's good for uh, well I guess I can watch a YouTube video right I don't know Let's go ahead and watch one of my own videos, uh, and I'll demonstrate. I'll see if this, whoa, that was weird. Um, oh, yeah, I have the YouTube center thing, so it looks, <laughs> that's funny. But we will see how well it'll play HD content. So uh, let's go ahead and pull up the video of my car. Do, 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 do. And as you can see, it's it's not the fastest computer in the world, definitely, but... You know, it's still good. Alright, so let me go ahead. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of lagging, but let me go ahead and raise the volume and I'll set it to 720p and we'll see if we can actually play with this thing. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and switch to 720. I'll actually play it. Never have I had something requested so many times to make a video. Yeah, see, it cuts out because it's uh, not the right aspect ratio. Yeah, as you can see, the frame rate is very slow. Uh, it's pretty laggy. It uh, it doesn't really doesn't do well. It really doesn't do well with HD content. So you're not going to be watching any HD movies on this. But like I said, DVDs are only 480p, so you should still be able to do that. So I mean, I'm not going to show too much into the software because that's not the point. Uh, you're supposed to show the hardware you're in a review. Uh, so there you go. Uh, so that. It's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Uh, that was a quick review of the Dell Latitude D600. Uh, it is overall still a good computer for basic tasks, as I just showed you. And, um, yeah. So, you, I I would show Microsoft Office, too, but what's the point? It, it, you uh, Trust me, it can run Microsoft Office. So, that is my review of the Dell Latitude D600. If you like this video, be sure to go down there, comment, and give it a like if you want. No, I did not just give you the middle finger. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, see you later.